Hello there, I'm Dan Doffin from Key Code Media and today I want to give you a short demo and some pros and cons of the Live Call Connect feature for the new Tech TriCaster 2 Elite. So let's dive in. What is Live Call Connect? Well, Live Call Connect allows you to install and host well-known conferencing applications on your TriCaster to seamlessly bring multiple remote callers into a TriCaster production. Applications supported include Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Discord, Slack, and Tencent. A user simply launches the app, begins the meeting, and each caller is automatically converted into a video stream. Combined with system loopback audio to bridge into the TriCaster system as an input. Live Call Connect will automatically detect and separate individual caller screens as discrete inputs. The number of sources can be configured in the admin panel and in a live session cannot be changed. The adaptive system will automatically keep the maximum available sources distributed across the channels. Live Connect is only available in the TriCaster 2 Elite and some helpful things to know before you get started is that 4K monitors will allow you to have better quality once you get the application up and running. You'll want to keep the application open in full screen for the best possible quality and you're only allowed up to nine callers for the best quality and performance of the live call feature. The way that I see production people, whether it be in a church or in a business or a meeting setting, is that it really is only going to take one guy to be able to control and utilize this new live call connect feature. So let's say that I'm the TD for the day and because of COVID, we can't really hire anyone else to be in the room. Well, as you can see here, I'm armed with my two monitors, my service control, my keyboard, my mouse, and I have one laptop that I'm being able to run teams from. And what I can do with that is run a whole show because all the audio comes in. Yes, it's mux, but that's okay because all we are trying to do is produce a cohesive show. So let's dive in. All right, so now let's do a deep dive into the Live Call Connect. It runs as an ex external desktop application and it launches right here in my multi-viewer too. As you can see, if you go to workspaces, I, down here in the bottom is the app desktop. Now you will get a fancy little, hey, you're going away from this if you try and go anywhere else, main and blank. So switching away from the app desktop, Live Call Connect will basically take it away and none of its features will be available. But I'm gonna cancel that for now. You can see that I have Microsoft Edge, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Slack, and Discord on my machine. Selecting an installed application that isn't running will launch it. But if it's already running, like this Microsoft Teams, it will open it up here on my multi-view. There is one thing that you'll have to do with Microsoft Teams in order to enable the NDI output, and that is your admin for your Microsoft 365 will need to go in and enable NDI as an output. Now, this right here is one of the only cruxes that I see, is that anytime you're using Live Call Connect, everything becomes muxed and only shows up in one fader and that's your apps fader which is still you can configure it within the audio matrix just like in here so here's my apps gear and i can still route it to any of my masters or auxes there's still processing upon it even though it will definitely vary depending on who's in your call When you go live, if you watch my mouse clicker, as soon as I come off of the hamburger, it turns into a little circle. And what that does is it makes sure that you know that you cannot click around and change anything while in session. I cannot leave a meeting. I cannot X out of the app. The only thing I can do is re-click on the hamburger or click on the gear and relearn callers. That is all that I can do once the session is started. So I think that that will take a couple of uh, practice sessions with each TD in order to fully understand 
the best workflow for how that can work. So the other benefit to using this Live Call Connect feature is a full browser. So here I'm using Microsoft Edge. I've gone to YouTube and I've typed in Key Code Media. So I have full range feature of all of this. I can use it as just a web page input. I can go full screen and you will see that I've currently made my input six as my web browser. And if I come here to the gear icon, it is a local input and it's under web browser and I have full application and a page area. So I've chosen the full application as I'm full screen. So therefore you can bring in YouTube videos like this without the use of a secondary laptop using an NDI feature. And I have full control over it. My mouse doesn't blink out like it does on the Live Call Connect with Teams, Zoom, or any of those other applications. I do have full control. But your viewers will see everything that goes on, including the title bar as it comes down and the time frame. As long as I keep the mouse off of it, you're clean and it comes in. Always be sure that you have the rights to be able to air the YouTube video that you're showing. Let's wrap this up. What did we like about the TriCaster 2 and its Live Call Connect feature? Well, I like that I can open my two favorite applications, which is Teams and Zoom. That is what we use here at Key Code Media. And I'm able to assign those callers into inputs on their own. So it'll start at input nine and end at input 17 because it will choose the nine. What I also like about it is that as long as everyone is set up and ready to go, there is usually no problems with the screen readjusting its size or its ROI, if you will. Like if you have five callers and one drops off and you all of a sudden have this split screen. So once you know you're going into a meeting, just make sure that everyone is solid on their internet connection. Uh, it's probably best practice to start the meeting about 10 minutes ahead of time make sure that everyone is staying in. They can all be heard and seen clearly. Now, what I hope that new tech will do in the future is look towards the new Microsoft Teams update. That update, which is that broadcast over NDI, allows for each individual person to be brought in with their name into a source. It does not assign it, but it does show up underneath whichever laptop you're running that is connected to your network lined up. Well, you're probably going to put each one into their own Zoom room so that we can pin. That's the way that we used to do it. But using this feature, uh, we can just join different Zoom rooms by going into and joining a Zoom room that a producer has already checked and made sure that the talent is ready to go. And then the TriCaster can just join as another uh, entity and then take that input and bring them into the TriCaster. And now you can throw them into any ME or your backgrounds, use your lower thirds, anything just like a normal show. So to summarize, the Live Call Connect feature is definitely worth the hype, though it has a couple of its shortcomings, though we hope that new tech, as this progresses like a fine wine with age, it will only get better. Thanks so much for watching this short segment on the TriCaster 2 Elite's new Live Call Connect feature. If you'd like more information on the TriCaster 2 Elite or you think the TriCaster 2 Elite would enhance your workflow, feel free to get in touch with us in the comments below or by email. And one of our engineers will be happy to reach out to you. This is Dan Dauphin from Keycode Media, signing off.